you know, when you look at our tolling policy, it's it's about 10 years old. Um, and uh, all, all I said today was, I you know, I think the tolling policy is a prime candidate for uh, you know potential discussion um, uh, within government and and uh, you know with British Columbians. Uh, we have no set date, and no framework for that uh, at this point. But I just uh, you know it is something that, uh, that that is on my mind. Minister, why is it on your mind? Well, it, it, we we have uh, we have uh, two tolled uh, bridges today. We. Um, uh, it's 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 quite potential as one of a, a number of options that uh, the, the replacement for the George Massey Tunnel um, uh, you know, could end up uh, being being funded uh, with a toll. It's quite possible that uh, a replacement of the Patella Bridge uh, could result in a in a toll. Uh, and at that point, I think it, you know, we, we will, we, as a province, we'll have some pretty uh, pretty pretty big questions uh, about whether or not the tolling policy as it currently exists is still is still valid. So, uh, you know, and our government is uh, very much about ensuring that there's equity and fairness. Uh, for all, all British Columbians when it comes to transportation options and the costs uh, uh, that, that we all incur uh, to, uh, to, to use our infrastructure. Uh, at some point in 2014, uh, you know, we might be at a, at a, at a point where uh, having a, a, a thoughtful discussion, um, you know, province uh, with local governments, communities, stakeholders on the province's current tolling policy would, uh, potentially would be a good idea.